Yo, yo, it's Rangulius here, and you are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. This is uh, a space flying game or a space simulator, probably like some sort of uh, space opera kind of type deals, Lovecraftian type themes. Um, it claims to be a ser uh, spiritual successor to Freelancer, which I am extremely, extremely freaking happy about because I've been waiting for a game like this for for probably 15 years. I used to play Freelancer as a kid, like from 13 to 15, religiously. Um, I used to play with my dad. Me and my dad used to play together all the time online, um, pretty much until the game pretty much died, until there was only a couple people playing it left in the world. So I am extremely, extremely happy that this is a, this is a thing, and I hope it lives up to its, its claim. Um, so with that being said, uh, let's go. Okay. Long ago, the galaxy was invaded by a vast and cruel empire from the depths of underspace itself. Known as the Children, their conquest was stopped in its tracks by a legendary figure called the Speaker, an or orator beyond compare. The Speaker's legendary 46 hour long speech. Oh, I just missed out on that. Okay. Oh well. This is Speaker Freighter Gold Convoy 7 to Battleship Hemadred, requesting weather update. Gold weather. 7, we read you. Skies are currently clear. UHC trackers report a Category 2 storm on its way to the system. Estimated time of arrival is 5 hours, with 3 star chasers already in pursuit of its core. Hemadred out. Gold 6, what's your status? Cargo's intact. System check reports no issue. Nav computer is saying we've got two hours until the jump hole and it's stable. Acknowledged. Let's get this shipment home, gentlemen. Status report! Storm signal is going off! What? That's impossible. Scan for... Gold 3 just went down. Full hull breach on multiple decks, both transports. Open a channel on all frequencies and shunt all power to comms. Battleship Hemadred, this is Gold 7. We are under attack. Repeat, SOS. We have taken heavy storm damage. Gold 7, we read you and our scrambling fighters. Requesting status on your attacker. Gold 7, we read no storm. Repeat, what are you under attack from? I... don't... know. Definitely the visuals are very strikingly similar to Freelancer. Underspace. Hangar decks, please. Hasn't even been an hour, and they've already got billboards up. So the court convicted you. It's bad, and it's all bad. But not as bad as it could be. Mm. Let's get this out of the way. Your fortunes are gone. That's the worst one. You have a small stipend, so you don't starve, and that's about it. And finally, you're no longer allowed to hold any sort of corporate or estate titles in Baldwin Space. I can't run a company or own property? In Baldwin Space. There's nothing stopping you from emigrating and restarting anywhere outside Valdrick. What, become an expatriate? Move to Ujunus or the Axel? It's not so bad, Cardoz. I know plenty of Zero Tens out there that... Ah, so now we get to the core of the issue. Cardoz. Look me in the eye and tell me then. Tell me that I would have been found guilty if I wasn't what I was. Yes, yes, you would have been. What are you? It looked bad, Cardoz. Even if you hadn't spent the past 30 years trying to piss off every high house, I love you like a brother, but set aside your pride for a second. You had just taken out a huge insurance policy on those freighters, security systems were lagging behind, and you yourself admitted that Speaker Freight hadn't seen growth this year. Yes, and all of those had perfectly reasonable explanations. Except your convoy wasn't destroyed by a storm. What? That's what I was trying to tell you. It's where I've been. 
Oh yeah. I checked the weather patterns, talked to the dispatchers aboard the hem Hemadred. I even got access to the Gold 7's black box. They were destroyed well before any storm rolled in by something. Carbell, Joswit, Scion of House Joswit, Race, Valdwin, Civil Lawyer, Notary, Dear Friend. Okay, okay. So what, a storm right blew uh, them up? Or pirates? Terra is not fully mapped system. Any number of things could have taken the convoy out. Carbell, if you wanted my advice, Cardross, it's not worth pursuing. And at this point, you've got bigger things to worry about. Things we need to discuss. How is this not worth pursuing? Yeah, definitely reminiscent of Freelancer where it's kind of a weird alien mystery what the hell is going on kind of type deal so definitely fits that because even if it's storm right or something was responsible what's going to change everyone whispers things about you zero ten renegade fratricide side fratricide bringing this up or proving it would just add cultists and storm right conspirators to that list doesn't that change the fact that I'm innocent? That's not what the court thinks, and they are the ones who th that would give you your company back. The high houses, the judges, the governors, you've always been guilty in their minds. This just proves it. Okay, so like what am, I wonder what I was initially a part of. Your brother been dead for 13 years, but you've been guilty well before that. These past two weeks with the convoy, it shouldn't be anything new to you. I'm sorry. You think they just treat a head of the high house better? Oh, you think they treat the head of the high house better? Not one that's zero ten, and not one that doesn't tow a line consistently. At this point, you're going to have to seek other sources of employment. Employment? Tell me about sneaker freight instead. If all works out, Norell will get the company. Okay, well, employment, I guess. He gave me some thought. Okay, so I gave it some thought. Your best bet is freelance work, but trading and mining might be difficult. And I don't even know the government will let you work to, for speak freight. Okay. The way I see it, the only option left to you is star chasing. How? I have no money, no assets. I doubt most people will give me a job. I don't even have a ship. That's not completely true. I managed to drag this thing out of storage. Had to pull a lot of favors to get it cleared to fly, but it will. I'll need to find work. Talk to the chapter master here yes. on Baldric. They're a Macrovari. They won't care about your trial or anything else if they even know who you are. In the meantime, if you need anything, you know where to find me. You'll get through this, Cardoz. You're nothing if not competent. Thanks, Cardoz. What else are friends for? Okay. Looking for work. Go to the chapter house on planet Valdric by following the red exclamation point. Print. Press F7 or press right mouse button. Select the storm cloud item. Turn the volume down here. It's quite loud. Better. Okay. Toggle mouse button by right clicking. And then you can also just and then interact as F. The inventory, star map, character and reputation, view current objective and logs, additional information. Warp to starship dealer, cargo trader, equipment dealer, 
warp to bar launch bay. So yeah, this is very, very similar. Definitely very similar to Freelancer's kind of setup. Launch to space. Go to the chapter house on planet Baldrick. Does that mean I can just like warp there or I am am I on planet Waldrick? Hmm. Okay. It's definitely some uh some jank already. Um definitely with like the even like the so subtitles show like stuff that you probably shouldn't be seeing. Okay, so who are you? <sighs> Ekara Joswit, equipment dealer. So, one of his family members? Trade. So, credits, thousand. Weapons, 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 weapons. So, I just instantly, just this, I own this ship, it seems. Equipment dealer, shield cache, full webbing. Caches are disposal superconductors designed to specifically augment ship shields and restore their energy with event of damage. While superficially developed by the Union, the majority of the backers were in Juni. And as such, a spent cache is considered edible ration by the Union. Restores 200 points of your shield for caching. Okay. And then, like, weapons, I'm assuming you're just your, your ship weapons here. They're all fairly expensive, comparatively, what do I have right now, but... Sunbeam, class 1. What do I have? So I have photonic repeater, made specifically for mass production and civilian use. Photonic weapons do more damage to... Neutrino shields, but less to Quasar. They have very high fire rate, but do low damage as a trade-off. This gun is rusty and probably worthless, but still works. It's just a low-class ship right now. Let's just get out of here and probably just... Probably not supposed to be here just yet. Let's, uh... Go to the chapter house on planet Valdrick by following the red exclamation point. anything no what's this repair terminal repair ship no service needed fire repair ship rearm restock okay and i just how do i board my ship if i can board my ship from here without anything okay so maybe i should just click on this looking for work quest complete Pretty dark. Is there something I'm supposed to see? I see subtitles. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be hearing dialogue. I'll make sure it's clear. Let him zet out. Okay, talk to the chapter master with F to begin a campaign mission. Yeah, I'm assuming I was supposed to hear some of that. When on a campaign mission, you cannot take other missions or freely explore until campaign, campaign mission. Straying off course, disobeying orders, or attacking allies will cause you to fail the campaign's mission. Okay. Okay, so it finally lit up in here. I wonder... If there was supposed to be some sort of cutscene or something there that I missed out on. Because there was definitely dialogue going on that I wasn't really paying attention to. That seemed like that was probably supposed to be heard. Who's this? Valkyrie Lens. Phew. Old Hat isn't happy. That's for sure. Guess those academic rookies didn't make it out alive. That's gotta stick. Are you part of the, all this? 
Me? No. I fly with the Veil Drakes over at the Izar Academy. I just popped in for some fancy booze and I checked my UPT before I'm out to meet an old and arc old anarch friend out in the Ritus. That's where the big stories are happening. Okay. You be out of Ritus at all. I've been hearing some strange rumors. Mark me, benevolent storm whites or whole gate builder city, you know? Fresh out of academy? Fair enough. Pat's got a chip and crossing you about you. But Croft knows I'm not going to turn down help or not. Still, if you're worth flying green, I'll take you your look for some advice. If you have any. I'm not sure I'm the best person to come for that, honestly. Advice is, that is, though, uh, I'd say that I'm well-traveled. Could at least give you a crash course on star chasing if you want. Whatever that means, sure, what is that? Perfect. What do you want to know more about? Uh, tell me about what the hell a star chaser is. In general, I'd say these three kinds of us. There are star chasers, like you and me, then there's anarchs and red faces. They're a different breed of dog, so to speak. Well, okay. Well, I'd like to know what the hell of Star Chasers is. Anarchs. Pirate Star Chasers, basically. The fact that e is even people like the Mata or various smuggling syndicates don't want, like, want or like Storm. Want or like Storm. They keep individuals or Storm whole chapters on a call to deal with that. UHC policy is that so long as they chase down those storms, they're allowed to claim salvage and earn UPT. I'm assuming that's sort of the currency, even though it seemed like uh, credits were currency. Uh, most anarch anarchs really aren't the raiding and pillaging types, but are just star chasers born in the wrong place at the wrong time, or people who made some mistakes and have to live their lives on the run. You fly long enough, you f meet a few, and you'll be glad that they've got your back. Is there? Let's try that again. You'll meet a few, and you'll be as as glad that they've got your back as that you've got theirs. Okay, so those so, so these people anarchs are like friendly, sort of, you know, or they're pirates, but they're kind of work. You know, anarchs then, the. The dead stations out in the Ritus and the high haywire and the like are neutral ground and usually good places to set out your bearings before a chase. You'll end up drinking with another star chaser who tunes out to be some retired son's warlord or mad out drudge just trying to keep his friends safe. What else do you know? Uh, what about... St <sighs> Tell me about star chasers. So he just says the same dialogue like you and me. Uh, red faces. Some star chasers are like the whole job doesn't pay enough to make meets ends meet. Some folk have expenses, so they supplement all that being bounty hunters. And s most star chasers that bounty hunt hunt bounties more than they star chase. You understand? Okay. So the red voice faces are some sort of n nebulous other group within the whole system. Sure, as Croft, they'll hunt storms, but they're most out hunting down pirates and criminals for cash. They don't always get along with normal star chasers. Why not? Well, it comes down to anarchs, you see. Most of us, we get that anarchs are just like us, pilots just trying to keep galaxy safe from one reason or another. You fly long enough and you'll end up friends with among an anarchs, and Croft's known... And Croft knows we need them to keep the storms under control. What? It, like, so what is like a storm? Is storm like actually a freaking storm? Like, cause it seems like it's more than just a storm. How do you keep a freaking space storm under control? But the Anarchs are pirates all the same. Most red faces don't see differences between hunt anything. Don't see the difference and will hunt anything with a price on it. That kind of tunnel vision leads to inner chapter friction. Not all of them take that course. 
Okay. Um, is there another line in here? Um, what about soul chasers? He didn't say anything about soul chasers. Really? Feels like a, every rookie gets their stars in the eyes about that. Rogue star chasers that hunt other star chasers, right? That's a myth. Rogue star chasers that hunt other star chasers. Huh. Okay. Well, it's not a myth in the sense that some star chasers do go bad. Washers get them, or a storm goes bad and they lose someone. It's anybody in the galaxy is one bad day away from going down the deep end. There are some pretty infamous rogue star chasers out there. Rhaegar on the Black, the Mercy Man. Hell, I even think Nazbor, the, l learn the lean... What the hell? The lean started out as... That's probably what's fueling the whole rumor mill, honestly. But there's never been an orga organized rogue star chasers. That defeats the purpose, right? That's... Okay, well, I'd like to get some gameplay. Um, tell me about UHC. What is, what is the UHC? Not much to say. You didn't have drilled into you your head at the academy. The UHC is the union. They pay us fairly, or tally our points, help organize the chap. So they're their governor and body. Okay, mark me. They don't get their, don't get on their bad side. The top star chasers are scary, but people. The UHC got squads out there that, well, less just internal affairs for us is a bit different. Okay. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of politics, it seems, going on. Anarchs are friendly-ish. And red chasers are bounty hunters. And then you got random rogues that he's calling rare. So there does seem to be other freelance type enemies here. Okay. Okay. Um, what's next here? What do I want? What do we got here? So, warped chapter house. Maybe take a look at the parts of level one vault quests. I have no quests active. Awesome. Love how it's like looking for work and then it. Maybe he wasn't someone. Maybe it's over here then and ten what the hell and wow how the hell do you say that one give me a second and how on nail a T. Antennality. That's fuck, dude. What the hell? Okay, F. Let's see what they got. Already? Hell, that was fast. Uh Idle Idol Smasher, Chapter Master, Race, Macrovary, UHC rank 47. So this guy is probably pretty high up. Some sort of Say Hatun Hatunality Hatunali, whatever. Who cares? Robot thing. Uh, UHC 46. Look, rookie, I know that you've got told that you're an academy, but you've got to understand one thing this, this chapter isn't the kind that's out in the frontier chasing storm whites and selling their stories to the movie studios. We fight and break up washers and their offshoot cults not glamorous understand does it pay it pays yeah pays better than most in fact then i'm in you sure because you know academy types like to i'm not any academy i'm not from any academy i'm just a star chaser you're a star chaser i guess i am i don't know what the hell that means yet but sure uh hell all right Job's pretty simple then. You're escorting a convoy from Anganite to Spolen training train yard. Payout is sixty five thousand. Still interested? Uh, yeah. I only have a thousand right now, buddy. 
65 is a lot more than one. Why do you need more star chapers if it's a simple job? I told you, we fight washers, and there will be fighting washers. Well, I'm in then. Hell yeah, let's see what uh see what this is about. Get space side and meet up with space leader squad leader, a macro v Macrovari named Unilisi. Well that's a lot easier than your freaking name. Uh he'll fit he'll you in on the details. There's a window of opportunity here, so hurry. Okay. So I can just select the bay if I want to go straight there, meet the rest of your squad mates in space along red exclamation point, F2, or right mouse click on the bay icon, press Z, or select launch to space icon. Uh, let's just pop over here to warp A, and then I can just... So if I just click on this, this is okay. Here we go. And we're off to space. Let's get it on. Let's see what this is, this is like here. Not gonna lie, the graphics aren't all that great, but Launch ports are open. Kill the storm doesn't always mean there. that's a bad thing. Definitely looks like Freelancer. Okay, so Strafe. Pat told me that you had a new star. Oh, freaking hell. Can I please keep up with this? Pat says they're a veteran willing to prove a, a mister. Alright, Kasarov. Well, we'll form on you. Current objective, of course. Love when the dialogue just goes way too fast. Space to toggle mouse following on and off. W, increase your throttle. S to decrease throttle. Double tap W to enter high engine mode, greatly increasing your speed. X to reverse. Okay. Double tap W to enter high engine, greatly increase the speed. Space to toggle mouse, following on and off. Yeah, definitely want mouse following. Okay, sweet. So it's like... Might be a little janky at first, just to kind of see where we are. Okay. Thrusters is left shift. Might change that to tab. Red 4, this is Idol Smasher. Frickin' hell, man. I can't read that fast. Our teams have been hitting in hard possible, cutting off supplies where we can. Everything we've done, opportunity like this. Roger that, forming up. Awesome. I have no idea what's going on because I can't read that fast. Uh, left mouse button. Dislike target, A and D to strafe horizontally, left control and alt to strafe vertically. Left control and alt. Give me a sec here. That is awkward as shit. There's no way I'm doing that. Yeah. Landlines. Fly through the ring of all the landlines to enter it. You cannot use equipment while in a landline. Lane line. Sorry. Okay. Those are these waypoints here. Yeah, this is definitely like a straight up copy of freaking Freelancer. There's so many mechanics that are exactly the same. Okay. Are they following me or what? No entry. Let's. Just enter it in. Always been a problem. Why? No, oh, that's why. Okay. Right button to fire your active guns. Left mouse to select the target. Double tap A and D to dodge. 
Left shift to activate afterburners. Yeah, that might be changing to tab. Okay. Just, uh, what the heck? Why can't I shoot? Okay. Okay. Jeez, Louise. Let's go. Yeah, it's way very sensitive. Just trying to. Come on. Come on. I can't even, like, freaking. Come on. I don't know if I like. Come on. I definitely feel like I have to turn my mouse out to do now, and this is rough. Damn. I can't even, like, stay on this guy. Come on. Come on! Freaking hell, man. I, like, can't aim where I need to aim. There we go, finally! Got him! It's gonna take me a bit to get this... handle of this. It's kinda like... Really janky. This is gonna give me a freaking headache. Got him. Finally. You did. That took way too long. Come on. Here we go. I wonder if I can turn my sensitivity down if that helped a bit. This is this is rough. This is rough. Uh let's go. Sensitivity? Autopilot, station controls. Hmm. Damn. Okay. Well, I think we just have to deal. Yeah. Come on. It's hard to follow. Come on. I don't know if I'm a fan of the mouse. I almost want to switch it to the ship that's controlled by my keyboard, not my mouse. It's like, damn, this is awkward. Like, it's just like hard to keep on. It's like I'm turning where I'm aiming, so it's like, okay. Let's see. We can just get used to this. Come on. Come on. Got him. Got him. All right. Let's try. Almost got him. Almost got him. Yeah. Okay. I really kind of need. Boom, motherfucker. Okay. I'm definitely gonna have to try and see. More resistance. Hmm. Let's get enough stolen items. Team, we've got damage. Deploy some hull. Repairing and cargo. Recharge shields. Hold and repair hull. Collect nearby cargo. E. Do I even have shields? 
Where's my shield? I don't know if I'm a fan of how this control is. Might have to see if I can change it. Reach the stolen, reach this old, stolen train yard. E. Picked up thrusters, picked up large thruster. I don't even know. Is there other stuff I can, is that just random? Like. Is that over there? Did I pick stuff up? Hmm. Is that all I need to do? I guess I picked it up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know where my like. Where is my hole in my shields? We made it. Something feels off. Red Squadron, this is Blue Squadron. Heard you ran into some trouble. Less trouble than we thought. Where are your escorts? They'll, they stayed behind. The gunboat came and want to take them. Where is any sign of them? None that we could see. Raikens, right, something's off. Yoon? Okay, so the game just saved. What about Green Squad? Haven't heard any. Yoon and Raikens shipyard isn't responding. Green Squad. Damn it, man. Can't read that fast. But let's stay alert. Okay, sure. So other people are supposed to meet us here and they're not here. Okay, the lower left window shows you a list of nearby detected objects. You can select detected select targets by selecting the names of the object. You can filter this list by categories such as ships, solar bodies, wreckage, loot, etc. by selecting the different buttons at the window. This is kind of why I don't want my mouse to root like I want to be able to just control my ship with my freaking keyboard like I wonder if that's an option. Oops. Well, let's just save, I guess. Or not. Uh, option. Controls. Hmm. Suspended physics. I don't know if there's an option for me to like. Not have to use my freaking mouse. Turn the game. It's like I can move forward. Like I just wish I could like turn. Like that's instead of strafing, I wish it was turn. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Is like I would rather the independent control of my guns, not have to freaking turn my ship. That is honestly like dizzying. Huh. So free flight, and then we if we press Z. So yeah, that does is that what I think it does? Oops. Sorry, I'm still trying to learn the controls here. Can you press that? No. Doesn't do what I thought. Okay, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here because the freaking dialogue moves too quickly. 
Okay, dock with the Rinkin... Rinkinrend laneway. Advertising boards. Speaker freight. Something new. Pension. Okay. Let's get it on. This greasy one. What green one? This is Idol Smasher 2. Where are you, convoy? It's gone. Their dudes there blue in the dry dock. I don't know what they're thinking, but. We've got more coming. Get to Riken now. Which we are going there right now. VIP voice. Found something. The rest of us washers. Keep them away from the civilians. Okay, well, let's hope I don't frickin'. Okay, well, there's our frickin' shields and hull now. I can finally see it on the board. Maybe I just needed to get hit in order to see it. Okay. Click on a guy. Okay, at least now we can see his health. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. You dead. You dead. Boom, bitch. Stop the erratic movement and just kind of try to smoothly fly. It's quite awkward. I just. I can imagine PvP being extremely difficult here. Gotta get used to the controls. Fighters are breaking off. They're just leaving everything lying now. Don't even bother picking up. They're wasting a whole gunboat. Just make us. Told you to run after us. Convoy moored and junk tech hauler carrying the starship cores. I managed to free them and something happened after that he took the junk tech ships and fled into the nebula they were hoping to shake him out reinforcements couldn't arrive Lived their last no coordinates Russian form out sure I'll form up for something I don't even know what you guys were talking about is there like a freaking dialogue thing that I can look at here like I have no idea what's going on here inventory star map Character and reputation, current objective, additional information. No chapters, joined, information. Hmm. Is there like a dialogue something here? I guess that's a no. Find the missing convoy. Do I just my engines this or is that what this is? Ah. 
Abyss Drive. Double tap W when you're at top speed in high, high engines to activate your Abyss Drive. You cannot use your Abyss Drive if you're in dialogue, storms, or way or too close to stations and jump gates. Okay. Breaking down, no signs of Abezzo. This is bad. What's going on exactly? These flights don't seem like normal washers. They're not. You need to understand that there's a lot of sex with the high washers. I are call them doom slayers. They're even waste standards, but they're really a problem. Right. A couple of weeks ago, they suddenly became extremely active, gone from high raids to something. Doomsdayers don't value their own lives. Crazy schemes succeed through eight edge. Catch them suicidal. They don't stick around. They're caught able to. Ah, I really wish I could keep up with this dialogue, man. That's more on overarching plot stuff. I am. Yeah. Nope. Don't have any idea what's going on here. Sweet. Awesome. Be cool if this was like voice acted or something. We'll go into our abyss drive. Hmm. Bravado? No sign of him. Understood. Everyone's get ready. For what? I'm okay, here we go. What the hell is that? Oh, what the hell is that? Yeah, no shit. What the hell is that? Collapse jump hole. Don't get too close. Ah, oh, jeez. Ran right into them. Come on, come on! I'm just trying to click on him. Trying to click on him. It's not even. Come on, come on! Just, I'm just trying to click on him. Maybe I should just try to shoot. Heck yeah! I just want to click on one. Jeez. Okay, so these ones are actually attacking me and hurting me, but my first run was stupid. I just ran right into all of them. Ah! Okay, shields are back up. Is that a big ship? Is that a freaking battleship against us right now? Okay, almost got this guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're good. You're dead. Motherfucker. Got him. You did. Let's get this one. Eventually, I'm hoping we get like missiles and stuff like that that we can throw at these guys. Wonder if I have countermeasures. Not right now. Okay. Got him. Is there a guy after me? Feels like there's people after me right now. Boom. Got him. You dead. Boom, bitch. Get out the way. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit more of a handle on the flight here. I still am not a huge fan of the aiming and your freaking directing being the same thing. I'm sure there's got to be a way to uh, change this to keyboard flight rather than mouse aim. Uh oh, come on, come on, you did, you did, croft above. Doomsday here, and car. Who are these guys coming? See other people in the background there. Unless that's something else. It was like, boom! Jump hole starting to fluctuate wildly. It looks like it's starting to swell up. 
going to employ and get clear. All right, all right, blew up. That was close. Any sign of brought out a life plot or anything? Wreckage June, he's gone. All our cores. Damn. That won't be happy. Bravado is part of chapter over a decade. It's normal, right? We're star chasers. But you sure star chasers, Cardos? Rookies might die in the score and takes a lot to kill a veteran. <sighs> Maybe certain gives us a clue. Cultists keep getting away from us. They'll start. Awesome. I love not being able to freaking read the dialogue because I'm a slow reader. Might take suggestions though. I can get yourself a. Uh, awesome. It'd be cool if you could see like the dialogue in. Oh, okay. So mission 100% complete. You've leveled up. You can gain levels by looting ships, acquiring more items, and otherwise increasing your total net worth. Who? When you leveled up, you gain skill points. You can access the character menu with I. Distribute skill points, the various skills here. Every 10 levels, you gain the ability to unlock a new skill. Skill points can also be awarded through quests or difficult bosses. All right. Forming on you, Yoon. My Yoon, is that I'm level four? Or is this? What is this? Land on Riken's shipyard by following uh, Blue Wave. Looks like I just missed the idol smashers. Good to see you again all the same, rookie. You here for the storm? If so, I could use a chasing partner. Not sure I'm qualified. Bah, it's a cat one storm, no better time to learn. Here, I'll shadow you and sh Well, at least they're giving me some voice lot dialogue here. Um, Drake Lance Rig. Is this the guy we talked to on the planet? I don't even know. Uh, you've been caught in a under spatial storm. Storms form and surge across the star system over time. Storm systems have stronger enemies, higher prices, both buying and selling, and strange anomalies. Jump holes become unstable in storms. Okay. Fighting storms. To kill a storm, one has to destroy the rift powering it. Rifts will spawn in the center of any nebula, reach the rift, and destroy it. Approaching a rift will spawn hazards. These include cosmic monsters known as horrors and deadly anomalies. Some of these must be destroyed before you can kill the rift. Destroying the rift gives you storm eyes, which can be used to purchase strong equipment. Sweet. Do you the ropes? Forward to the rift. Yeah. Might as well. Uh. Is that where do I go? Where do I go? Where do you want me to go? Do we want me to follow you? Are you following me? I go to this blue thing. Yeah. Every time Whoa. Just have a of peace. Definitely some weird shisty stuff going on. Okay. Interesting. Or am I supposed to land on Riken shipyard by following the blue waypoint? Optional. Help chase that incoming storm. Well, let's help it chase the incoming storm. How do I do that? Where do I go for that? Under spatial rift? Is that what this is? Uh, 19k away. Am I wrong in thinking that that's what this is? Eldrake is... Just chilling next to me. He's formed up on me. It's like tentacle freaking thing in the storm cloud here. Old Kaylee. Free flight. I am in free flight. What is this? Enemy. Old Kaylee. Some sort of boss. Wonder if those tentacles can hit you, or if you can run into them by accident. Probably not. Whoa, what is that? Serpent incoming. Looks like old 
What the hell? Hope you know how to use your dodge thrusters from key. Let's go. So you got a hit in the head, it seems. Hitting in the body doesn't seem to work. I think I need to change this to tab to tab instead of shift. Oh shit! What the hell? Just ran through it. Didn't do anything. Okay, did I blow it up? Guys, okay, stop. I use my thrusters. You dead. You dead. You dead. You dead. Oh. Ice and clean, Veil Drakes, nice he's using manly. Okay. The Veil Drakes can use a man like you. We're not done yet though. The snake's dead, and that means the rift's vulnerable. Okay. Let's get there and open fire. Sweet. I'm assuming that's what this is. So there's like space snakes? That was interesting. Lot going on at once there, like it's kind of hard to understand what's going all on. Oh, what the hell? Why are you running into me, bro? You just shoot at it? What is this? What do I do? I just run into it? I don't know what you want me to do. Shoot at it? Oh, okay. Kaboom? There we go. Clean and easy, just like a cat one should be. You've got a real talent for this rookie. You probably need some more outfits, mind you. Most folk would point you to Rick and Rent, but I can make a suggestion. We're right near Kaisa's circle. If you're looking to live a different sort of life, check the job boards and talk to the bartender there. They're an old flying buddy. You take care now. All right, all right. So there's multiple options. You can go this way or that way. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Just head towards the uh, the original, the original one here. Ships for sale. Okay. So I have four weapons, all sunbeams. Deploy hull webbing. Deploy shield catch. Five. You can toggle on or off your guns. Um. And this is important. This all ships. Long range scan. Target closest enemy. Ooh, that would be nice. I want to change that to something else. Okay. Riken Rend Shipyard. We're gonna go buy a ship. Docking. Station planets require you, you to ask permission before docking. When in range of a station, target using your contact HUD or left mouse button. 
You can then dock on the station by pressing F. Hostile, st hostile stations and planets cannot be docked. Okay. Conduct long range scans. Is there like put a target, dock target? Probably. I do just so. Docking permission granted. You're clear to land on docking port. One. Am I just gonna hit the ship? It seems like I'm just gonna hit the ship. Yep. Is it docking, docking for me? Permission granted. Doesn't You're seem clear like to it. Land on docking port. One. I don't have control. I'm confused. I'm confused. What the hell are you doing? It says F. Have a nice day. I freaking pressed F. How close do I gotta be? gotta be F. Roger that. You are cleared to dock. Proceed to dock number one. The hell? What the hell? Roger that. You are cleared to dock. Proceed to dock number one. Hey, Star Chaser. Mind if I take a peek in your hold? Don't think so. Finally. Jeez. Way to, way to just crash me into the freaking station over and over again. Upgrades. Quest complete. Stations and planets. You can land on most stations and planets to get access services. You can quickly access basic services on stations via the menu, but stations often have secret hidden way. Okay. Docking bays. Each station has a landing bay or a docking port. You can launch to space here. Some ports have train stations. You can pay captain or transport you. You can pay a captain to transport you and your ship quickly to other ports in the galaxy. Okay. Jump over that. The Testa Haster. Cargo trade. I don't have anything to sell. Talk to these guys? No? Bar? Over there? Alien dude looking thing? Station bars. Bars and taverns on stations have excellent way to find work. You can access job board or bars. 
to view available missions or news terminals to read current events relevant to the area. Many individuals look to hire star chasers, often hang out in bars. Uni bouncer. So that's what an un. Right. Little genie bouncer? Is that what that is? Okay. Find, a, find the strange gate in the Baldrum Nebula by using your long range scanner to find gold. Kind of confused. Just a little. Needed net. Current bonuses, reputation gain, 10%, energy charge rate, 4%. Huh. Max ammo, reputation gain, salvage rate, shield recharge, max cargo. Well, shield recharge rate would make the most sense to me. I have 12 points available. Let's put five into here. Okay. Shield technology was discovered in the early Valdron life cycle, and off the years they were learned to optimize and recharge rates of them. Shield recharge rate 20 now. Valdron considered waste of Fanmule. Familial sin, possibly due to the observed desire to preserve any ancestral artifact. Either way, those Valwin that do pick through wrecks often have oddly good eye for value and find more than most races. Salvage mining chance? It doesn't go up very much. Point goes up by like point four. Got four levels of that. Reputation gain. Building friendships and alliances is a cornerstone of Baldwin society. Despite their reputation, most Baldwin are actually quite sociable and integrate themselves into the ranks of faction with ease. Reputation gain rate? 0.5 every time. Okay. Okay. Reputation. I'm good with the Valdwin police. Haskar Industrial is neutral. So you can go through and these... Your reputation will change throughout whoever you face, whatever you do. If you become a pirate, obviously your Valdwin police will start to hate you. And the criminals will probably start to like you. I am definitely getting major flashbacks of freaking Freelancer right now, so that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Looking for work. There's definitely mill people milling about the chapter house with luck. Chapter master will have a job you can take on, which is weird because I did that and I didn't find anyone. Or like I did get a job, but it's so random. I'm so confused. We made it back to the station despite the storm. It'll be worth looking around to see what's up. Upgrades. So am I supposed to go to like the shipyard? News board. Find the strange gates. Using the long range scan. That seems like I would have to be in space for that. Job board. Bartender can't interact with it's nothing. Oh, that's like a robot thing. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. So, what's this? Warp launch bay, bar, equipment dealer, cargo trader, ship dealer, mission tab, and news panel. go to the equipment dealer I guess equipment dealers equipment dealers sell weapons utilities ammunition and more you can buy sell restock your equipment at equipment dealers you also quickly access the services to repair or restock your ship yeah 
Oh, for fuck. These names, man. I'm just gonna call you Azin. Azin Hen Devil. Equipment dealer. Okay, so weapons, ammunition. Yeah, I'm assuming that's for like missiles. Yeah, missiles. All on the side there, missiles. Hardware, thrusters, mine layer, anti guidance shaft, armor, cloaking field, thrusters. Okay. Internal. Full whipping, shield cache, scanner upgrade. Hmm. Empty hull webbing unit hard point slot. No component is currently mounted. Grand or twenty eight. I don't know. I don't necessarily know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Uh, maybe let's just get an advanced scanner for now. Scanner device that picks up gravimetric and thermovolcanic readings and outputs them as readable data pilots. These augments exist to further increase the efficiency of power in the scanner. This is the most basic scanner upgrade and fitted by some exploratory union ships. This is a much more powerful one, obviously. Basic hazards, basic hazards, and advanced head. Whatever the frickin' hell that means. Huh. Well, I think I should probably buy one of these. I'm gonna buy the cheaper one just because. Okay, so we now have that. I wonder if I can buy a missile. Bone, bone under launcher? Missile, class one missile. This missile launcher carries and delivers piercing missiles, which are capable of bypassing shields by a small percentage. Max ammo 16, hull damage 13, shield damage 3. Speed, lifetime, okay. Rapid fire launcher. This missile launcher carries and delivers micro missiles, which are designed with ultra fast launcher mechanisms mechanisms allowing them to be rapidly fired max ammo 50 not nearly as much damage academic launcher carries out and delivers torpedoes which have no tracking ability but do much more damage however they are much slower so they can't track and they're slow typical torpedoes but they probably do a shite ton of damage hull damage a lot yeah and then a seeker missile this missile launches and carries delivers disruptors, which do large amounts of shield damage and can knock ships out of high engine. So these are shield busters. Bypassing shields by small percentage. I'm gonna get one of these. I wonder if that's it better be a different button. Um, I think 
guess I can upgrade my sunbeams. Or no. I have the highest class. Am I wrong? 25. No, these are better, but they cost a shit ton. I wonder if I just want to go with another bone sputter. Bones under. I want to go to a different one. But I wonder if these are different button presses or if they're the same button press. If this is just. An empty anti guidance shaft hardpoint slot. Anti projectile countermeasures that fly out and simulate movement and heat signatures of an existing shift. So this is just countermeasures, is that what this is? I'll buy countermeasures. Sure. Um, armor, is there any armor? Extra hull plating, 10 grand. Might as well do it. I have 30 grand left. Hull webbing, you don't have anything there. No shield cache. Cloaking. Friend drive. Engine tuning kit. Well, I kind of want to just go with another missile. I'm just going to go with another missile here. Hopefully it's not a waste of money. We'll find out eventually. And then we'll buy some missile ammo. What do we got? 18,000? Go 16? Sure. And then we go shaft. 50? 1,200? Sure. Okay, hardware. Insecticide compound available, mimicking the most common material found in this fish plating. It's just heals. And I, and I can't do that during combat, or I can do that during combat. I have five out of thirteen. I'll just hold off on that. Okay. Inventory. Star map. We're in Valdrum Nebula. In Riken Starship. There's like, what's this over here? Communication relay. Bolton Training Yard, we were there. Speaker fields. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. Well, clearly, Stranger Gates is what it wants us to do, even though that on missions? Like, I, I'm so confused as to... Okay. So do I just go back out into space and, uh... Take a look at ships, I guess, and just see what they have. I'm probably not gonna buy it. Obviously, probably don't have money to buy one, but some stations have shipyards and ship dealers. There, here you can buy, sell, trade in, or switch between different ships. You can also customize your ship and your ship's most ship at, and your ship at most ship deal. I can speak. Okay. Doesn't appear. There's a couple ships here. But a jackhammer, tier one ship, heavy ship. Twenty-six thousand. So they're not that expensive. 
Grace. There's a heavy fighter. Pole 7000, and then there's Grace, which is a light fighter. Engines, lightweight, probably super quick. Pole is way less than mine. Energy charge, max cargo 15. Conversation. The medium fighter. Okay. Patience. It's a freighter. Max cargo 80. So it's a lot more freight. So these are all 26,000. I'm in a light fighter right now, aging nebula. Interesting. Okay, cool. Just stick with our ship that we have right now. I just kind of want to see other ships. And I guess we just leave and launch out in space. Take a scan and see what's out there. Scanning. Hold B to perform long scans. Long range scan. Long range scans show points of interest as various pulsing shapes. Gold pulses are extremely valuable points of interest, such as lost jump gates or ancient ruins. Green pulses are jump points. Red pulses indicate wrecks. Okay, this is the unknown space station that I can go to, or if I just hold B. Red was what again? Is that what I'm supposed to be in? Find the strange gate in Vulgarum Nebula by using a long range scanner to find gold pulses. Okay, so I see red there. White, white. I swear, every time I fly out, there's a new lane line. Your tax dollars at work. I see white and red. I don't see any gold. Sure, buddy. Remind me to check the boards when we get back. I don't see any gold. No contraband detected. You're free to go. Oh. Thanks, guy. Find the strange gate in the Valdrum Nebula by using your long range scanner to find gold pulses. I'm in that nebula, right? How do I check? Baldric system? Do I need to go? Baldric system. Hmm. Well, there's this weird looking thing over here. What's this?
fairly, fairly confused. There we go. Okay, so I was right. I wasn't close enough, I guess. Still trying to get used to the controls here. Definitely a little odd to get used to here, but I'm sure we'll handle it. Okay. Should not have been aiming here, because I don't know where I'm going now. I'm actually gonna stop. Damn it, I lost track of where I was. Damn it. That was my bad. Damn it. Now I don't know where I am. Be nice. Where? Oh. There. There we go. Yeah, moving in the nebulas here is quite a challenge. Don't know where you're actually going. Be straight ahead. Fine. Go again to a this drive. Floaty floats behind it. You've scanned sixty five thousand worth of data. Okay. The hell does that mean? Go through this? What are these floaty? Jellyfish? Taste jellyfish?
Well, so I got 65,000 worth of data. Don't really know what that means, but okay. Trains gates. Stumble, perhaps not so blindly, upon the gate the people at the station were discussing. Well, what people at the station? Obviously, the conversation that I wasn't paying attention to. Only one way to find out where it leads. Well, shit. Did I miss my opportunity to go through that? Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna just go through it, I guess. Nope. Wonder what I need to do. What am I missing? What did I forget? or what? Running into it. Pressing F doesn't do anything. Am I supposed to do something here? Is there another gate that I'm supposed to see? I'm getting a freaking headache from this. Okay. What am I freaking missing here, man? I do not know what they're expecting of me here. Only one way to find out where it leads. I've already completed it. Okay. Okay. I'm confused. I'm freaking confused. Um, let's go maybe... Actually, let's... I am fairly, fairly confused. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I am... Aldrin Nebula. Control 31. Hmm. What am I even doing? Unknown? Okay, do I just go in that direction then? Or is that the... Yeah, no, this is the unknown station. 
I'm so confused. Were we just supposed to go there all along? You know what? Seeing as how I'm just in a pot, spot where I don't know what I'm doing. We have a direction to go in, I guess. It looks like R is our missiles. Yeah, I'm definitely curious to see what PvP is going to look like here. There doesn't seem to be like a like afterburner type light mechanic here. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Your ships definitely do move fast though. Asus Circle. Space Station? Oh. Mata. Circle. Star Attack. Who are you? Am I getting engaged with? Okay. Shimborn Bladeborn. I just shoot a missile at you. Oh! Didn't do any damage though. Maybe I have to pick the uh, shields out first. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Today. Oh. oh, come on. I haven't hit this guy at all. I might need gun upgrades. Like, this is bad. Come on. Barely hit him. Come on, come on, take damage, come on. Come on! Definitely suck at aiming, that's for sure. Even if it's like straight in front of me, I can't frickin' aim. Damn. Okay, let's uh, shoot a missile at him. Another missile. Got him. Okay. Next. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh! Oh, I'm dead! Huh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, shit. was our first look into uh, this game. Um, I'm not too sure. You are clear to launch. So we are back here. We have to go back to... Oh, what the hell? They're getting smoked by another ship here. Okay. That was my first look into this game and I'm going to end it here and we will come back again tomorrow for sure definitely a lot of things to to think about here in terms of just trying to figure out the controls even and then there's a lot like, really everything kind of went by pretty fast there it's kind of hard to follow a lot of it but maybe if I play it a little bit more I'll uh, begin to understand here so not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, definitely not exactly what I was expecting, but, you know, when are things exactly what you could ever expect them to be? Um, but, uh, sweet. Okay. I'll see you next time on Wrench Feels Like Plan. Have a good day.